the chair now recognizes the gentlelady from Iowa, Dr. Miller Meeks, for five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank uh, our witness for testifying before the committee today. This November will mark three years since the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act was signed into law. The supplemental appropriations under the IIJA doubled EPA's typical appropriations for each year of the five-year funding period. The IRA, which just turned two years old, appropriated over $41 billion to the EPA over a decade, with massive funding levels going to ill-defined programs, such as the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund and Environmental Justice Block Grants, as we just heard. The administration and my Democrat colleagues are throwing a lot of money towards so-called energy transition without a real sense of how these programs and the EPA's regulatory actions will impact economic well-being and net global emissions. For example, the EPA is trying to force closure of existing power plants with the Clean Power Plan 2.0 rule without a subsequent plan in place to meet growing electricity demand, especially with AI and data centers coming on board. While Iowa is powered by 60% renewable energy and we are a net energy exporter of clean energy, it's important to remember that nationwide coal and natural gas are still 60% of our nation's electricity generation. And globally, 600,000 people die of heat or cold, the vast majority of cold from not having affordable energy for their homes. So we risk creating energy poverty. So I think it's important that we are accounting for where these billions of dollars are going and if the funds are actually helping to improve the environment and address the increasing energy demand. Mr. O'Donnell, what's the status of your IIJA oversight plan? And do you have future work planned for IIJA oversight beyond what's described in the latest oversight plan? Um, we try and uh, we take seriously um, the requirement that we keep Congress and the administrator currently and fully informed. Um, plans are um, uh, malleable, they grow. So what we try and uh, focus on is uh, what we're going to do as far as specific projects for one year, and then we look on the out uh, on the out years and talk about general areas. Um, and I think with respect to our plan, we've talked about things like grant closeout and the like. And the status is on track or oh, yes, fine? Yes. Thank you. And, just, and if I may, just very quickly, there were, and I've done a, a disservice to my uh, evaluators. When uh, we publish a report, it goes through a very rigorous review and quality assurance prog process. So when our, our reports say something is this or that, I have a, a unimpeachable confidence in, in that. Thank you. On December 7, 2022, the OIG published a review of 28 prior reports on EPA's use of $7.2 billion under the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. In it, the OIG reported on three lessons that the EPA should consider to mitigate risks and reduce the likelihood of fraud, waste, and abuse of IIJA funds. What are those three factors? Oh, boy. I don't recall. Can I? Yeah, we'll get back to you on that one. Well, I'm surprised you can't recall, uh, but my follow-up question was going to be, how is the EPA following those recommendations? But if you're not aware of what those recommendations are, I, that's I, a little bit... I remember bit, some of them. I don't, I don't want to remember all That's I, a little bit problematic. Um, so what level of confidence should Congress have in the agency's ability to handle such a significant amount of money and requirements, including from the additional items in the IIJA and IRA? So we, we, will, we are in the process of planning a follow-up to that to see where they have, um, how they have responded from that roll-up into um, uh, oh, two or three years into the program. It's not very confidence-inspiring that you don't know what the recommendations were. Is the EPA's data management proficiency a challenge in managing the new grant programs created through the IIJA or the IRA? Yes, yes, that has been a... a we, we have identified that as a top management challenge to the EPA. And do you have a plan for how to meet that management challenge? Yes, we have ongoing, um, we have ongoing uh, oversight work in that area. All right. Thank you very much. I yield back. General